Good afternoon. This is a microphone check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For a microphone check. One, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. You guys all set? We're going to sync up. We're going to get all the PIOs in the room. Real quick, uh, we're going to get all the PIOs together back in this back room. Okay. Once we get synced up, we'll come out and we'll everybody will address you all at once. Right, Is that good? Okay. Yes, Part of that 10, 15 minutes, if I can address it. Yeah. <clears throat>
did want to make this available. We're looking for an easel to put this on, but if you wanted to get B-roll or any shots of this, um, what this represents is the, um, the different zones that lead up to the, the military base. Um, so APZ stands for Accident Potential Zone 1 and Accident P Potential Zone 2. This uh, downed aircraft occurred in this area right here. Um, so these are areas that are identified by the military as an area where an accident could occur because they are on approach or departure from the base. Um, so like I said, we are trying to find an easel to set this up on, um, but I'll, I'll leave it right here if you want to get some shots of it. Um, and this will be the area where the crash occurred. Everybody good? Okay. What happens if I set it up on this fellas? Great idea. Yeah.
you all for your patience. And you all are welcome to come up here if you'd like. That's right. We'll okay. <laughs> Chief, you want to come up here? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is J.T. Monashagan. I'm the police chief of the Lake Worth Police Department. Uh, with me is Chief Ryan Arthur, who is the fire chief of the Lake Worth Fire Department. Uh, we're here to give you uh, a brief update on the plane crash that occurred in our city earlier this morning. Uh, our office, uh, our communication center, received a call at 10.53 this morning in reference to a downed military aircraft between the 4,000 block of Tejas and Dakota. Our police units responded and initial units reported that uh, one pilot had ejected and was caught in some power lines um, and another pilot had ejected and was found in the neighborhood uh, nearby. Uh, as you can imagine, the officers uh, summoned additional uh, emergency responders. The fire department responded uh, along with our partners at MedStar. Uh, we've also relied heavily on our neighboring agencies for assistance throughout this ordeal, um, and that includes uh, MedStar, EMS, uh, the Fort Worth Fire Department, the Fort Worth Police Department, the Tarrant County Constable's Office, um, Tarrant County Emergency Management is on scene assisting us as well, um, along with the Texas uh, Emergency Management Office. Um, so regarding the specifics of the incident and what's taking place at the scene, I'm gonna turn you over to Chief Arthur to address that, and then we'll uh, stick around for a few minutes to address any questions that you may have. So Chief Arthur. Thank you very much. Like uh, Chief Monashagan said, I am uh, Chief Ryan Arthur, the fire chief here in Lake Worth. Uh, just to bring you up to speed on a little bit of what's transpired since we were notified of the incident, there are three homes involved. Um, fortunately, nobody was injured. Um, no resident was injured. Um, the two pilots have been transported to the hospital. Um, we do have tremendous amount of support from our local uh, fire department organizations and police department organizations from Fort Worth, Saginaw, the Navy Air Station, uh, Lockheed Martin, including Tarrant County Emergency Management. Uh, great support from them. Uh, this incident could have been could have been much worse. Uh, knowing that this plane went down in a residential area here in Lake Worth. So as I mentioned, uh, we're still on scene uh, with our partners, like I mentioned with Fort Worth, uh, basically going through the scene, working with uh, NCIS, NCIS and the Navy Air, Air, Navy Air Station and Lockheed Martin to ensure that all the items are photographed. Um, and then moving on from there, as I had mentioned, the three residents, uh, three homes that were involved, uh, we do have Red Cross on scene for them. So we are getting assistance to those residents impacted. Is there any questions that I can answer and pretty much open it up right now to any type of questions that uh, the media may have for the being, fire department? Being so close that you are to the Naval Air Station and uh, the police chief was showing us a moment ago about the map about you know, identifying potential uh, crash zones you know, so close on landing and takeoff. Is this something you practiced for before or anticipated we do. or worked with NAS? To yes, sir. We do. It is a, a, a drill and a training exercise we uh, do on a very regular basis. Um, that, in fact, through our Office of, of Emergency Management, that is one of our highest priorities. Uh, other cities in Texas, it could be natural disasters such as tornadoes and even the ice storm. But for us, it is a downed military aircraft since we are in such a unique position. Were you able to talk to the pilots at the scene? Were they able to say anything about how the accident happened, about why they had to eject, or what went wrong with the plane, anything like that? Not at this time, no, sir. And have there ever been any uh, other aircraft crashes in that accident since it's gone? I can't be specific. I may have to ask, uh, we can ask Chief Monashagan to come up to answer that. In my time here, I'm un. No, this has not happened before. And just for clarity, when you say the pilots ejected, mm -hmm. did they? Remove themselves from the plane. Correct. Did, what is it called? Crash. Correct. 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 They removed themselves. That's right. Okay. They did. Uh huh. Um, I just 
understand that the power is out. Do you have any idea how long that'll uh, remain? I would speculate, and this is strictly speculation, it may be a few days. Um, it, the biggest thing is getting get the wreckage and the, and the items out of the area before they can re-secure power and really utilities to any of those homes. And with that, outside of the three homes, how uh, much of the community is impacted by this or those power outages or in that particular area? I would say roughly a two to three block area is going to be impacted uh, surrounding that immediate location. Probably roughly 60 to 70 residents. Um, any advisory to the community who may be in that immediate zone right now? The big thing for us is safety, making sure that everybody stays out of that location. Uh, we do have barriers up throughout the area. Um, please stay out of that area. It's, it's going to be hazardous for now um, until we get that the debris cleaned out. Um, that would be the biggest thing that I can provide to the residents here in Lake Worth. Not at this time. I can't comment. Yes, sir. And just for perspective and what the emergency teams are dealing with in that area right now. Sure. The flames, you said a crash in a residential area. Is Correct. On a field or was the crash into the home? Fortunately, it wasn't um, the actual home. It was a little bit of damage has occurred to all three uh, residents. Um, but actually, it's in a backyard. Um, that fortunately, again, that is one of those that we can say that's very fortunate that it could have been a lot worse if it would have been a direct contact into a, a residence. Fortunately, that's not the case. We did have some damage uh, that occurred from, I would speculate, maybe wings or other debris that caused the damage to the homes. But as I mentioned, it, it could have been a lot worse for sure. Uh, I am unfamiliar with that, but I do believe we do have some. We, we do have some, and we can share that. Sure. Do you know anything about the pilots, um, other than their conditions currently? That no, that's all the information I can provide right now. Chief Mockershaw. Sure. Thank you. Um, just a couple things that I, I wanted to share with you. Um, first is that. Our hearts go out to these military members and their families. Um, I am not a pilot, but I am a veteran along with Chief Arthur and many of the others uh, in the room. And I would imagine that for a pilot, this is the day that, that you dread, that you hope never comes. And so for them and their families who've experienced that, that worst day, we just want them to know and their families to know that our thoughts and prayers are with them. Um, and for all of our service members, um, this is going to have an impact on our local community because we are a military community. Um, so we just want to know that, that we as first responders, we as the city of Lake Worth are standing with you and support you um, through this. Um, speaking to the schools and hospital question that you had, um, we are, this crash location is a block away uh, from N.A. Howery Middle School. Um, but I've been in contact with the school staff and we do not affect school operations to be affected tomorrow. We believe that we'll be able to collapse this perimeter enough that uh, the majority of the roadways will be open and that school should be able to go on uh, as planned for tomorrow. Any other questions? Yes, so uh, there are multiple military representatives on the scene uh, from NAS uh, Fort Worth. Uh, we have representatives from the Air Force and the Navy uh, on scene. I think they're working collaboratively uh, to work through this incident. Um, exactly what the mission is, uh, we're not privy to that. Um, so we'll just have to get you in touch with them uh, to explain that. Uh, we do know that it's a training jet. Uh, so it, it wasn't a prop plane, it was a jet. Exactly what model and what the training mission was, we can't say. Um, there was a question about ejection. Um, so both th this was a jet, so this is the traditional ejection seat um, where the canopy uh, comes off and the, the pilots are ejected in a seat. Um, and that is the parachute that got caught up in the power lines that when our officers arrived on scene, that's what they observed was the pilot in the parachute caught in the power lines. 
What should people do if they find debris? I guess debris was scattered around the area, so people might yes, sir. come across something. Yes, sir. So that's a wonderful question. If a resident uh, were to find any debris, we ask that they not touch it, that they leave it in place. Um, spe uh, specifically the ejection seats. Now we have officers that are on those ejection seats, but we've been advised by the military that there is a chance that there could be unexpended ordnance in those seats. And so we need the public to maintain a 100 foot perimeter away from them just to ensure that they're safe. Um, but our federal partners will be coming into the neighborhood to catalog and collect all of that debris and that debris will help paint a picture of what happened. So we need the public to leave that alone. Um, if you have any questions, if it's blocking your car, anything like that, give us a call. We'll get you connected with the right people and uh, we'll try to get somebody over there to catalog it so that it can be moved and you can go on about your life. So just call 911. Uh, please don't call 911 because it's not an emergency. Um, we would be happy uh, to field their call on our non-emergency line, uh, which is 817 Two three seven one two two four. Sure, eight one seven two three seven one two two four. That's the Lake Worth Police Department Communication Center non emergency line. Anything else? Okay, real quick, staff, is there anything that we missed that, that we need to get out? No. Okay, so um, obviously this is going to be a long process. Our team, along with Chief Arthur's team, are going to be in the neighborhood uh, working through this incident, I'm sure, into the night and tomorrow. Um, so we just ask for your patience. Um, we will be updating uh, the media and the public via our social media platforms. Should we need to do another press conference, we'll notify you um, through our pro team and um, our social media outlets. Um, but at this time, we are not planning a follow-up press conference. But if that changes, we'll be sure to let you know. Anything else before we go? Do you have any specifics on what type of damage uh, homes, those three homes did receive? Were there any fires involved with the home? Sure. I'll let Chief Arthur sure. let you address that. There was um, a small amount of fire. A mo majority of it was from the actual plane that went down. Um, fortunately, like I had mentioned before, there wasn't a tremendous amount of uh, damage to these three homes. Uh, it did displace them, so they are, uh, again, working with Red Cross to get to get assistance uh, moving down that's going to be impacted for several weeks. Uh, but as far as fire in the actual residence, no. Fortunately, that was all contained to the actual aircraft involved. And were they displaced because of damage to the home or Correct. because of the location of the crash? The damage to the home. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other questions? All right. Okay. Thank you very much. You Appreciate it.